Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over torque to kick off rotational dynamics. So let's get started. So we've got a definition of torque here, which says that torque is a force which produces rotation about an axis. So when we're applying a force at a certain distance away from something and the object is gonna rotate, then that means we've got a torque. So a common example of the application of torque is when a spanner is used to tighten or loosen a nut. So for example, if you were to hold your spanner at this point here, then you're gonna find it harder to tighten or loosen that bolt or nut. And the reason is that you're close to the axis of rotation. But let's say you were to move your hand to twice the distance away from the axis of rotation, then you're actually gonna find that you only need to apply half the force to achieve the same torque that you achieved over here. That you should find it easier to tighten or loosen the nut or bolt if you're holding the spanner at the end. So at twice the distance away from the axis of rotation over here, then the same torque can be achieved by applying half the force. And another easy way to think about this is maybe closing an open door. So if you were to push a door close to the hinge, which would be the axis of rotation for the door, if you were to push that door, you would find that it's quite difficult to get it to move. But if you were to say push the door right on the edge of the door, then you should find that it's really easy to actually move that door. And that's because you wouldn't have to apply as much force to move the door with the same torque as before. So the further away you apply a force from the axis of rotation, of an object which is just the point at which it's going to move around then the easier it should be to move that object. To think about this in a bit more context let's consider a force F applied at a tangent to the rim of a disc so here's our disc here which can rotate about an axis O through its center. The radius of the circle is R so we've got our disc of radius R and we're applying a force at this distance R away from the center. The center is where it's going to move around. Then we could say that the torque T capital T associated with this force F is given by this expression expression here, T equals F times R. Now this equation is on your relationship sheet in the exam and the symbols and units for that are T is the torque measured in Newton meters, F is the force measured in Newtons and R is the distance from the axis of rotation to the point where the force is applied, measured in meters. So the axis of rotation, remember, just means the point at which the object will move around. So in this case, for the disc, it's gonna be in the center of the disc. Now we can see that torque should be measured in Newton meters because torque is equal to the force times the distance from the axis of rotation. So your force there would be measured in Newtons and your distance would be measured in meters. So because those two quantities are times together, then we get Newton meters. So the last thing to note here is that torque is a vector quantity, just like acceleration and just like force. And vector quantities have both a magnitude and a direction. So the direction of the torque vector is always going to be at right angles to the plane containing both R and F and lies along the axis of rotation. So if we go back to our disc example here, then the torque vector will be at right angles to this plane containing R and F, and we said it's gonna pass along the axis of rotation. So it's gonna pass through the middle of that shape there where the object rotates around. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.